Okay, I've had to wait till it's a little bit cooler because it's quite strange. Uh, when I was making those videos before, to give you an idea how hot it is here, my phone came up and said, exit the camera, battery temperature too high. Anyway, so I didn't get a chance to show you this properly before. This is that little distribution panel I got from um, eBay. As you can see there, it's got two USBs, uh, two 12 volt, and then three Andersons. And you can see there, I'll just run the battery cable in from the outside through a cable gland. I'll show you that in a sec. Just to that Anderson plug there. And then I'll just plug in here and run it over the fridge. I'm just having a smoke. Oh dear, I'm having a smoker. Um, so yeah, it's like, like I said, it's an old Leisure Matters one. They used to run on the East Coast, but the company's cancelled now, but they still run on um, in Perth. So, yeah, I didn't get a chance to finish off, but anyway. So you've seen that I'll try and edit the two videos together um, so they make sense. He's run, you can see there, he's run a bit of cable, and that leads into that 12-volt uh, little outlet I showed you before. Um, this is my cable run. I had to just widen this hole down here, and I've just put a bit of conduit through there and then a bit of silicon. Good job, as always. Just got 8mm BNS through a cable gland into the side, running into that distribution panel. And that just follows this one in the toolbox, like I showed you before. Um, that one there. So like I was saying, the fridge is permanently powered. Um, the battery isolator only isolates uh, the, um, the like lighting and any 12 volt. Um, and you saw in those switches, the pump runs off a 12 volt. I didn't show you this too well in that other one, but yeah, he had a real old Anderson plug on there, so I just put a new one on and put it all with a cover on it. Yeah, so like I said before, I basically got it set up. Just get that off the ground. Got electric brakes. I basically got it set up just to drive in, hook up, and drive out. Because uh, as soon as I plug in, the fridge is running basically. So I've got water, it's got a 70 litre water tank, and then I'll just put a little hand. I had to put a new hand pump on, I just got it off eBay, but then I they do sell them at super cheap as well. These little caravan pump things, um, and they're about the same price, so not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so it's not bad. Little kitchen. This extends out. And this is generally cooks off there, but doesn't leave much space. So I'm thinking about taking that cook stand anyway, even if we only use it as like a shelf. A uh, couple of little things. Underneath there, you've got the thing for the drain and the hose for draining the um, sink, but I'm going to need to get a new one of them. Colour in there, you've seen that box before. And then in here's just stuff, you know, stuff that you use regularly. And then this I didn't show you. He's actually put a water a clip for the water line on here. And then one switch for the lights, one switch for the water pump. Um, won't run now, as you can see, because I've got uh, I've got the battery isolated, except for the fridge. So as you can see, that's running. So like I was saying, that's live all the time. And it runs my fridge and then... <laughs> Any other accessories I'd put on there. Um, yeah, so we went up the our local lake here just to give it a bit of a shake out, put the awning up, all that sort of stuff. Um, it didn't rain and I haven't had it in the rain, so I couldn't tell you how waterproof it is. I do have one of these, I'll just show you this quickly. I do have one of these, normally that lives inside, I just haven't put it inside yet. Um, that just covers the sleeping and living area inside the tent, just in case it does rain. But uh, underneath here is... So I put the... Oh, here's a tip for new players. I put this little towel here so that the light cover that was up there it was actually marking it. You can see that it marked that. Because I can lift this up and it hits the roof, just touches it. Um, and then, very important, that when this is up, that you don't try and move the trailer that's touching the light because you'll destroy your light fitting which is kind of what I did so anyway um, just charging the battery on the right on um, I was a bit worried about the where are we? I was a bit worried about the um, here we go. I was a bit worried about the waterproofness 
if you like, of a canvas. So I did a bit of Google searching and, and we come up with this stuff. Seems to be pretty well. Um, it's called Aquaproof. Got it from BCF. It's not cheap. This is five litres and it cost me 77 bucks from super cheap. So pretty pricey. But, um, oh, yes, as you can see, yeah, don't, uh, don't do silly things like move stuff when it's connected to a light because it tends to destroy it. That's for that kick-ass battery charger. I've only just bought that. Um, my ride-on battery doesn't run too well, so I thought I'd put it on the charger and see how it goes. Um, just a point too, if you're going to set up like this, you can see that Anderson plug there. Well, I don't need to, when it's uh, in the battery box, I don't need to use the battery clamps. I can just plug the Anderson plug straight into the battery box. Uh, Anderson plug connector on the battery box and it starts up. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to charge me thing up. But uh, yeah, so I painted that on the roof and that was a bit of a pain. Um, it goes on white and I thought it was supposed to dry clear. Thankfully the roof's like a tan colour, a light tan colour. Um, but uh, yeah, it's okay on the roof, but I did one side of where the bed is, where the mattress goes, because in there's a full queen size mattress, it was his old one. So the missus just put a mattress protector on it and we just use sheets and stuff. Uh, so I painted that one side that comes off the bed, which you can see in the other video when, um, when you're looking at the side there. And unfortunately that has still sort of made it go white, this white brush marks on it. But uh, when it dried off, I put the hose on it, it worked pretty well. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Um, it cost me just under four grand. So, um, he wanted four and a half, but the missus bloody uh, wheeler and dealer, she has talked him down a little bit. These are just the standard, you know, PVC pipe with the screw on ends. And he did all this. The only thing I've really done is put the kick ass box in there and then run battery cable underneath, which I'll show you in a sec. Run battery cable underneath and, um, bought that uh, distribution panel off eBay and then yeah, you can see in there each one of those has the, the poles in it now so yeah I was saying underneath there underneath the all-weather cover is the walls for the awning and the awning itself and it's just basically um, set up for the missus and I and one awning and the walls for that outside awning that's all I carry I'm not carrying all the other bullshit which is in here there's like Stuff this bloke's never used. You can see those tartan sort of bags, that's what it came with. Um, here he's like extra poles, and this is just canvas that's never been touched. Um, all these extra ropes and pegs and stuff, none of that's been touched. So, you know, it was a pretty good deal. I was happy with the price. Um, yeah, so, pretty happy with that. Uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, yeah, I'll just show you the cable run. I have to get under here. Oh, God, bloody hell. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. So you can see what he's done. Um, where are we? There. He's just run three cable glands, as you can see now. I had a bit of trouble finding cable glands, and eventually um, they were. Oh Christ! Where did I buy them from? Ah, uh, Bunnings. Got them from Bunnings. I got 16 mil. Um, yeah, so I've just followed, as you can see, that red is my bare ass. Now, I had to get bigger P-clamps, which are those little clamps with the rubber on them, those things there, the tech screw in them. Uh, the P-clamps I found at super cheap, and those are 18mm P-clamps, because I had to run double, so I've just replaced the smaller P-clamps that he had, and I've just followed the cable run up over the tyre, and then up the rear of the tyre there, and as you saw on the other side coming out, there's the water tank, 70 litres. Um, yeah. So that's the underside, it's got suspension, electric brakes as I was saying, Bella's found something in there, probably a little lizard or something. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's the underneath. Oh, bloody hell. Boy. Yeah, so I'll try and um, cut these two videos together to make a little bit of sense. But yeah, so pretty happy. Um, yeah, so I was getting, probably for an overnight stop, it's definitely quicker than the tent because you don't have to set up any stretches or get your sleeping bags out or anything like that. You just basically fold it out and um, you're in the business. It uh, folds out uh, that way, as you saw, that way. Um, so it's a side fold, soft wall, like I said in the other one. Look, it'll do me, I'm not, I'm not too drastic. Uh, yeah, all right guys, so one step up from the tent. <laughs> um, next video I'll put up just quickly to show you the Topro Elite and 
how I've just run the extra bit of uh, BNS cable to get down to the uh, to get down to here to power it. Um, like I said, as soon as I plug in the car, um, I f leave the battery isolated from the rear, so none of the lights or the water pump or anything is on. But that's running, that's charging the 120 amp hour through the battery box. These are all the original tyres. It's a 2011 model. That's something I didn't say before. 2011. Now, as I said, Leisure Matters doesn't exist on the East Coast. Uh, but they do exist in Perth. Rang them. Sorry, mate. Can't help you. Don't do spares for the old ones anymore. So, yeah. Um, I have a eBay. A few things like you can get replacement covers and all that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, pretty happy. All right, well. Let's bloody think that the sun's gone down because it's stinking hot up here. We've got... Uh, 43 tomorrow, I think it's 41 on Tuesday, and then like high 30s and 40s for the rest of the week, so we're not having a break up here from the heat. But anyway, that's what you get when you want to live the country life. Alright, cheers guys, and see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.